Chernobyl frogs adapt to radiation without lifespan changes, the oriental tree frog, Hyla orientalis, has shown remarkable resilience in adapting to the radioactive environment surrounding Chernobyl, with no apparent impact on their lifespan despite long-term exposure to radiation. In 1986, the Chernobyl disaster released an unprecedented amount of radioactive material, creating a high-risk environment for all living organisms. Decades later, researchers are still examining how wildlife, particularly in Ukraine, has adapted to these conditions. According to a recent study in biology letters reported by IFL Science, oriental tree frogs residing in the Chernobyl exclusion zone have not experienced shortened lifespans due to radiation exposure. The Chernobyl exclusion zone, largely devoid of human activity, has become one of Europe's largest nature reserves. Pablo Baracco of the Estación Biológica de Danana, the study's lead author, noted, the current radiation levels in the Chernobyl exclusion zone are not enough to cause significant harm to wildlife across most of the area. During two weeks of work in areas with high contamination levels, the research team accumulated radiation comparable to what a person might experience from a dental X-ray. This relatively low exposure is partly due to the short half-lives of the most hazardous radioisotopes released during the disaster, which caused radiation levels to decrease significantly over time. Baracco's team, led by German Orizela, conducted fieldwork from 2016 to 2018, focusing on oriental tree frog populations across a range of contamination levels within Chernobyl. Sampling over 200 male frogs, they analyzed factors including age, radiation exposure, levels of the stress hormone corticosterone, and aging markers based on telomere length, which are protective structures at the ends of chromosomes. Their findings revealed no differences in lifespan, aging rates, or stress levels between Chernobyl frogs and those in non-radioactive areas, indicating that current radiation levels in the zone are too low to cause chronic damage. These results highlight the role of the Chernobyl exclusion zone as a haven for wildlife. While radiation levels are now relatively low, the frogs have also developed adaptations to survive past high radiation levels. Previous research showed that these frogs evolved melanism, changing from green to black, to shield themselves from radiation. The researchers planned further studies to better understand the long-term impacts of the Chernobyl accident on local wildlife. But these efforts have been paused due to the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict. Thank you for watching the video. I hope the above knowledge will help you in life. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel to watch more interesting videos. Goodbye.